Hi, this is an overview of DocuPeak's document management and its integration with inside of NetSuite. So in addition to DocuPeak's capability of accounts payable invoice automation with the routing of an invoice for approval and then the creation of the invoice transaction, DocuPeak also enables you to capture supporting documents to other transactions and entities with inside of NetSuite. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to sales, sales transaction here. And we'll just go ahead and look at this list. And if I wanted to capture a document, uh, maybe it is a packing slip or a sales order to a specific transaction, I could create this transaction or in this case, I'm just going to pull up one, open one that is already there. And you'll notice that DocuPeak is part of the tab area down here. So I'm going to click on DocuPeak and it opens up here and I'm going to go ahead and add a document. So when you think about having continuity around all of the different types of documents that you have that support your data, DocuPeak's going to uh, enable you to have those documents in one central location. So here I'm at a sales order and these types of documents are completely customer defined. Let's go ahead and let's add a packing slip. You'll notice that DocuPeak automatically pulls in the transaction information. This is going to cause allow for the linking and, and you'll see what I mean in just a second. And then it also brings in the entity. And you'll notice that um, in this presentation that I'm going to be able to go to 3M and not just see customer documents that you might want to capture, but also I'll be able to see all of the documents related to the sales orders for 3M and, and, and any of the other sales transactions. But we're going to put a note here. Now at this point, I can browse out to go out and look for my documents. And we're just going to come down here. I've got a sample, um, a sample sales order. We'll bring this in, click on that, open, and it brings it in and saves it. So now you'll notice that I've got an icon that's a, that's a PDF, notes, because I wrote a note in there, the type of document, the transactional information, the entity, who added it and when. So as simple as add a document, what type of document is it? We're going to say that it's a uh, packing slip and we'll call this notes two. And now I also can have my files open as well and I can drag and drop so I can navigate out to my area here where I want to where I keep my my documents I can navigate out and um, come in here and we'll go ahead and pull in sample two and and it, it does not have to be a, a PDF I can pull in a word document a JPEG a journal entry so think about those um, journal entries that you might have an Excel spreadsheet for I'm going to say save now there are two documents so let's talk about the entity and we can navigate to that entity simply by clicking on 3M here. And now we're at the customer record. And again, you'll see the middle bar here. And if you navigate over, there's DocuPeak. And here are the documents that I've just added along with a customer agreement. Because in addition to those individual transactions that you have, again, whether they're sales orders, whether they're POs, whether they're receiving transactions, a vendor documents, journal entry, bank reconciliation, the list goes on um, regarding the transactions and the entities that we integrate with. But you're going to be able to add that. And again, always be able to navigate in to those transactions. So here's that Word document. It's going to open up the Word document. Here we go. Let's open it up in this window. There we go. 
it's also going to open up a packing slip. This is the packing slip that I brought in. And then earlier today, I actually brought in a customer contract that's at the entity level, not the transaction level. All right. So this was a quick overview of the document management. Again, I can navigate not only to a customer record, but a vendor record, see all of the documents related to a specific vendor, or I can go to a purchase order and I can go ahead and I can add a document to a purchase order uh, transaction as well. So again, throughout the system, journal entries, bank reconciliations, all the purchasing transactions, and the many entities. We would welcome the opportunity to demonstrate not only DocuPeak's accounts payable invoice automation, but also this feature for document management. Thank you.